Hey guys, so we thought that we would share a little bit of just our regular life <laughs> with you guys. And today we are heading to a location outside of the house <laughs> to have our financial discussion. So each month um, we try to meet together and just discuss where, where our finances are, what it is that we have planned for the month do our budget together and um, we use that we use that for the upcoming month and track against whatever we would have planned and then you know of course we do a review afterwards to see where we were what improvements we need to make how we can change the process etc etc so this month I thought why not go outside of the house and do it you know just go somewhere with with a view get because we've been working from home and churching from home and uh, most things from home. So we, we've been spending a lot of time in the house, which is nice. But at the, at the same time, I think there's so much more beauty in the world for us to, to just enjoy. So take, getting a little change of scenery and we are now on our way to that location. some of it um i think that we did a good job of discussing or assessing what what we have been doing for the first half of the year and just charting our way forward so we would know or we do know have a strategy as to how we want to proceed um we identified our areas for improvement and we are gonna work on those um Main takeaway is that we need to go back to be more intentional about tracking. <laughs> um, we kind of slacked off there. Mm. We, yes, because um, neither of us have been in, inputting in our in our um, app. So, yeah, we have slacked off there, and we need to go back because it was it was very helpful for us when we were actually diligent about doing it. So, um, yeah, that was the main takeaway. It's not, I, I think that I would have become a little comfortable with the fact that my husband manages the finances and so yeah you know like he's keeping everything in check <laughs> so I didn't have to be micromanaging or you know watching over his shoulder to say oh is this done is that done um he's been very you have been very um intentional and, and very good with managing it and managing you know, our investments and all of that so I kind of took it for granted that you know we're good we're cool um, as opposed to what I used to do which is um, being more more diligent with with recording okay. the expenses final, final question okay. we're going for vacation so. hmm. we haven't decided that yet we're gonna set our budget, okay. and then I'll make it, and then I'll make the decision right. and present it to you. Where do you want to go? Um, Greece. <laughs> um, I mean, Iceland is another option. <laughs> okay. But if if neither of those work out, then we'll we'll stay local. What would you say to somebody who wants to, you know, do more in terms of budgeting? They feel like they can't. They're always trying to make things more. Um, I'd say. So, are we talking? Are, are we talking about an individual or a couple? A couple, right? Yeah. Right. So, um, at first, I encourage you to sit with your with your partner, sit with your spouse, and have an open conversation about what it is you're, that you're struggling with. Why is it that you're not able to make ends meet? Um what areas 
are problematic for you and you both speak about it have a, a discussion and see how you can help each other to, to stay on track with it and um come come to a mutual budget so it, it's and a way of keeping each other accountable find a way that works for you to keep each other accountable um in in maintaining your budget and i think um i think by doing that and not not taking offense when the person actually when his spouse actually comes and and says hey remember that this was our agreement we said that we would spend x and we're now at x plus 50 um you know so it's important not to take it with an air of offense but just understand that you are you have both agreed to this thing and it's a matter of accountability be willing be humble and that's, that's not a short no it's not <laughs> all right so what was your main takeaway from our time today um that there's a lot more that goes into money management than the dollars and cents there are a lot of kind of comfort decisions that come into play for us um you know like family or you know our preferences our preferences have a big impact on what we spend on um we have a certain taste we like to do certain kinds of things that aren't always cheap and we have to kind of we have to invest and save in accordance with those preferences i think i think that's a key Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things as well I see in terms of mindset that is still a little bit from how we used to manage things that maybe can be addressed but for the most part I think it was a needed time away meaningful discussion okay so was it a good idea to come out of the house and do this? well you see because I had Oxdale it's worth it no matter where it is um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice um, being outside. At home. If we're home now, I'd probably be um, surfing the web, watching YouTube videos, you know, scoping out other YouTube channels and making notes, that kind of stuff. And my wife would probably be in the kitchen. And um, yeah, so it's good to come out to the house. Okay. What's the message that you would like to leave with other couples about the budgeting process? Um, I think that I'd say just start having the conversation because there's no, don't get caught up in there being a right way. Um, you know, as I would have said before, each, each person has their preference. So your conversation would look different from ours um, in terms of you who is watching this video would be different from ours. And that's okay. I think as long as you're accomplishing your goals, you are clearing your debt, then to, to get to those places, you'd have to be doing something right. So once you're accomplishing those things, great. If you're not accomplishing them, then that's where you have a problem. I think um, it's good to know, you have to track all of your money. You have to know where all of your money is. You have to know how much money you have. I spoke to somebody recently and I say, okay, how much you have saved? What's, what's the value of your portfolio? And they didn't know. Um, and a lot of people, a lot of persons have that, like they have money somewhere. They've put it down for years. They don't think about it. Um, I don't think that's good money management because if you need to make a decision and you have to ask for a statement, then you're not tracking. Um, so I think tracking is important. That's what I'd leave with a couple. Thank you. No problem. So, um, oh, <laughs> we're about to leave this undisclosed location. Ooh. But um, the, the afternoon was well spent, I think. Very well um, spent. So we'll see at our next update whether or not we met the objectives that we set out today. You know what today did for me? It helped me to appreciate my husband even more. <sighs> as or CFO. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> he does a lot. Mm. You do a lot to know. to manage our finances and to keep us You're to keep, welcome. Yeah, to keep them healthy. You know. She is just happy that nobody's your... coming to disconnect our lights. That's <laughs> yes. all it is for her. That's her measurement of success. Do we have light 
Okay, great like, job. Our Hose bills one. are paid. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, but also, he's been doing an excellent job of managing our investments and trading when necessary mm -hmm. and, and keeping mm -hmm. abreast of that stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, so much so that I sometimes even forget that she has I should no keep no idea. <laughs> what we invest in how we're invested not, not no idea but i'm not as abreast as i should be so i'm working on that i've made a commitment to be more up to date on everything that we're doing okay so we're gone guys bye bye guys